Hello there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'll be talking about why you need NAS hard drives in your NAS and I'll be reviewing the WD Red hard drives. It's really important that you get NAS hard drives if you're going to be using a NAS. Stay tuned and I'll tell you why. Okay, let's first have a look at this WD Red. Now, WD were the first company to make NAS hard drives, the WD Red. This hard drive here is a 6 terabyte model, has 64 megabytes cache. You can use 8 of them together in a NAS. So if you compare that to Seagate's NAS hard drive, you can only use 5 together. Now it has a thousand hours mean time between failure, so it's up to 35% longer in between mean time failures than a consumer hard drive. And this consumer hard drive, say for example this WD Blue here, it has a three year warranty compared to the WD Blue which only has a 12 month warranty so that's good peace of mind. It has 24 7 support. It has a special firmware called Nasware 3 which has TLER, that's T-L-E-R, which is basically time limited error recovery. Now this was only exclusive to enterprise hard drives but now you can get that on these WD Reds which is obviously why it is good for NAS and I'll get to that later as well. It has a quieter seek than the normal, say, WD Blue Drive here. It's quieter seek. It's more tolerant to vibrations and noise. It uses less power. It's built to work in a hot environment with several hard drives put next to it. So why I chose this WD Red Drives, and I use this for my personal NAS, is because I think it's the best bang for buck comparing it to the Seagate NAS hard drives. One, it can use eight instead of five together. In terms of speed, if you go to a Nantech or even if you go to Linus, they've tested out these NAS hard drives and there's basically no difference at all in terms of speed. Very little. Even the 128 megabyte cache models of the WD Red Pros, there's still not that much difference. So in terms of performance, it doesn't matter really what NAS drive you get. It has something called an IntelliPower, which means that the WD Red spins at 5,400 RPM. But when it needs to, it can ramp up to 7,200 RPM. It can burst up to that speed. So it gives you the speed when you need it. And in all other times, it spins at that low speed, 5,400 RPM. So it makes it quieter and it uses less power. So I just think it's a better buy than the Seagate NAS hard drive. It just has more features. You can use it with more hard drives. But really, you can't go wrong whichever way you go. Now, why you can don't want to be using these WD Blues or anything or any consumer drive for your NAS is because they are not built for the NAS environment. The way a NAS hard drive error corrects and its firmware, this comes with NASware 3, so it's the third generation of its firmware. And as I said before, it has time limited error recovery, which was only in enterprise NASs before this. Now, what that means is I'm not going to get too technical, but what will happen is if you put consumer hard drives in, there's a good chance if they hit an error, because they don't know where they are in a chain and they're not communicating properly with the RAID controller, they can keep trying to correct that error and they'll get dropped from the array. And then what will happen is your NAS will just start rebuilding. And then if it's another error, again, on the consumer hard drive, that can fail. And then it can just kill all your data at once. And it has happened and it does happen. With NAS hard drives, they have auto dynamic balancing, they have TLER, time limited error recovery, and they know where they are in the chain. So if this is the second drive in the volume of four hard drives, it knows it's the second drive. And it's talking to the RAID controller and it knows that it has to give the error correction quicker, otherwise it will drop from the volume. Not to mention that they are built for 24-7. As I said, it's up to 35% more hours mean time between failures. So a consumer hard drive is up to 35% more of a chance to fail, especially in a RAID environment, and that probably goes up even more. The NAS hard drives are quieter, they use less power, and they're more tolerant to the NAS environment, meaning heat, vibration, sound. And you get the three-year warranty, and it can work with eight drives, in the case of the WD RED. Whenever you do, if you get a NAS, get WD Reds. I recommend WD Reds or at least get a NAS hard drive. You can also get Enterprise Drives and WD Red Pros, which to me, I don't think they're worth that extra cost in the NAS environment. Sure, if, you, if you've got a 12-bay NAS, definitely get WD Red Pros or Enterprise Drives. 
But if you're just working in your single NAS environment of up to eight hard drives, you're better off getting WD Reds because you'll save a lot of money. And not only that, chances are in your NAS environment, two, four, six bays, whatever, you're going to be limited by your Ethernet cable. So you're not going to get any extra speed out of it unless you have Ethernet cables link aggregated. Even then, if you have your Ethernet connections link aggregated, they're probably going to be used more in a load balancing scenario rather than using them bonded together for extra speed. So there's no real advantages unless you're talking about proper servers and 12 bay drives or something like that. I don't see the point of getting enterprise or WD Red Pros. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope I didn't wreck your head too much there. If this was useful, give me a thumbs up. I've got lots more tech content coming soon, so subscribe to see all that. And until next time, guys, tally-ho.